so looking forward to feast being open again when it can be open. Oh, God, I miss it. I miss feast so much. I miss sitting here and, 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 and just eating and all the options. Has it all been up to snuff? He enjoyed everything? Marvelous. Great Good. Job. Good. Thank you. Fabulous stuff. Thanks so much. Do you have, have any salt and pepper? Yeah, yeah, I have some salt and pepper. I'll be right back. Just a, needs a little help. A, a little help. Yeah. That does, it does, but it's fine. There oh. you go. You that. Thank and, you. And maybe that. Thank you, Doug. You bet. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, and yet she says nothing. What of that? See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. Ay, me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. For thou art as glorious to this night being o'er my head as is a winged messenger of heaven. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? "'Tis but thy name that is my enemy. "'Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. "'What's in a name? "'That which we call a rose by any other name "'would smell as sweet. Oh, "'Romeo, doff thy name, "'and for that name which is no part of thee "'take all myself.' "'I take thee at thy word.' Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus bescreensed in night so stumblest on my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound... Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair saint, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I o'erperch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. And what love can do... That dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no let to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. By whose direction foundst thou out this place? By love, who first did prompt me to inquire. He lent me counsel, and I lent him eyes. Thou know'st the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest, thou mayst prove false. At lovers' perjuries they say Jove laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear, that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? 
do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love... Well, do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be ere one can say it lightens. Sweet good night, good night. As sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank and give it thee again. And yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Madam? I heard some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little, I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I am afeard, being a knight, all this is but a dream, too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! I come anon. But if thou means not well, I do beseech thee. Juliet! A thousand times, good night. A thousand times the worse to want thy light. Romeo! My dear? At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. Tis almost morning. I would have thee gone. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace, so sweet to rest. <laughs>